What's up, my quarantine bring glazers? Guys, welcome back to part two of my test. We just finished part one, and now we're at part two. Both of these first sections are grammar, so again, if you have not taken this test, go take it. Link's in the description, and let's begin. So, number one, wait, select the underlined word that is incorrect. Okay, so now we are looking for a mistake. <clears throat> so the majority to the news is about violence or scandal. Hmm. I have not taken this test before, so I really have to think. But the majority of the news, I would think, the, you do need the the, so this is good. This is good. This is fine. I think it's two. Okay? The majority of the news, la maggior parte di, right? So the, of, sorry, two should be of. Number two, Takeshi. Why do they keep using Japanese names? Strange. Swimmed 100 laps in the pool yesterday. That's all very good, except swimmed. Swimmed is not a word. The simple past of swim is swam. S-W-A-M. Okay, number three. When our vacation, we plan to spend three days scuba diving. I think you might, you mean to say on our vacation. Definitely not when our vacation. The rest of this is good. Number four. Mr. Feinauer does not take critical of his work very well. Does not take critical. That doesn't make sense. Does not take care of his work. Sounds so strange. Number five. Yvette and Rinaldo send email messages to other often. Ooh. This all looks good. They send email messages to each other often. You cannot just say other. It has to be each other. Like l'uno all'altro. Number six. Mr. Olsen is telephoning a American Red Cross for help. This is perfectly fine. This is good. This is good, but this is not good. You have to say and. When the following word starts with a vowel, you have to change a to an. So we need an n in that case. Number seven. I had an I had a enjoyable time at the party last night. Hmm. Exact same mistake here. A E is a vowel, so it cannot be A enjoyable, it has to be an enjoyable. Number eight, the doctor, him, visited the patient's parents. The doctor, that's fine. The doctor, why, do, why are they saying him? The doctor, delete, visited the patient's parents. This is correct. The parents of the patient. Strange. Number nine. Petra intends to starting her own software business in a few years. Good, good, good. We have third person, so intends is good. Intends to start. You don't have to say intends to starting. Number 10. Each day after school, Jerome run five miles. Jerome runs third person singular. Should be an S. 11. He goes never to the company softball games. This is good. This is good. This is good. The never is placed wrong. Never is the correct word, but it should go after the person and before the verb. Almost like an adverb, because it is an adverb. He never goes to the company softball games. Number 12. Do you know the student whose books were sold? Who books were sold? Should be whose. Del quale. Do you know the student whose? So, doppia vu, aka, o, s, e. Should be the word w, h, o, s, e. Which means like possession of someone you don't know. Like di chi. Di chi sono questi libri? Whose books are these? So, cannot just say who. And number 13, 
John Pierre will spend his vacation either in Singapore nor the Bahamas. Why nor? It should just be or. This is not negative sentence with nor. It's just or. 14. I told the salesman that I was not interesting in buying the latest model. I was not interested, interessato. Non è che non sono interessante. It's just non sono interessato. So a lot of times with people, these adjectives have ed endings. For example, I'm excited. You don't say I'm exciting. You just say I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I told the salesman I I was not interested. Not interesting. And last, Frederick used to work for a multinational corporation when he lived in Malaysia. He used to work. Lavorava. Okay. Lavorava. And okay, this was super fast. So I think we can go ahead with the vocabulary section of the test. So let's click next section. And now we have a vocabulary test. 10 questions. We can do it. The rate of blank has been fluctuating wildly this week. So fluctuating means going up and down and up and down and up and down. The rate of money, I don't think so. I think it's the rate of the exchange or the exchange rate has been fluctuating wildly. So the exchange rate is like the amount of money you can get if you change currency, euros to dollars, that's an exchange rate. If that's going up and down, the rate of exchange has been fluctuating wildly this week. Notice also the beautiful present perfect continuous verb tense. Very nice. And let's continue. The bus blank arrives late during bad weather. The bus every week arrives late. No, sounds strange. The bus later. No, if it's during bad weather, we must be talking about always, right? The bus always arrives late during bad weather. Sempre, ieri, più tardi, ogni settimana, always, sempre. That's the best choice. Do you blank where the nearest grocery store is? Do you know, sapere? Come on, it's not no, it's not now, ora. Non è non, not. Very easy one, it's no. Jerry Seinfeld, the popular American comedian, has his audiences putting too many irons in the fire, keeping their noses out of someone's business, rolling in the aisles, or going to bat for someone, rolling in the aisles. Rolling is kind of like extreme laughing, like ah ha 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 ha. So he's a comedian. The aisles are like, the area between two sections of seats, that's the aisle. So it's definitely this one. Number five, six more, come on. The chairperson will blank members to the subcommittee, will appoint. So if you choose someone to fill a role, you appoint that person. Number six, the critics had to admit that the ballet blank was superb. The ballet procrastinate, no. Pathology, psychosomatic, the ballet performance. That's an easy one. Number seven. Peter says he can't blank our invitation to dinner tonight. He cannot accept it. Accettare, very easy. We were blank friends. Sorry, we were blank friends in that strange but magical country. We were... Okay, so eravamo tra gli amici, among. Upon seems close, but among is definitely better. We were among friends. We were with friends, basically means. Tra amici. And number nine. The hurricane caused blank damage to the city. Extend, extended, extensive. So extensive means like molto or like like it's extensive it's it's big it's long so a hurricane caused a lot of damage to the city one more many cultures have special ceremonies to celebrate a person's blank of passage into adulthood ooh this one's a little difficult 
Right means destra or justo. So I don't think it's that, their passage into adulthood. This is not a word. This means scrivere. This is a rite of passage. So like, il viaggio, il passaggio nel ad essere adulti. Okay? And that's the end of section three. So in this video, we saw section two and section three. Last, we will go to the reading comprehension section. Not my favorite, but we can do it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, peace.